Hey everyone, it's me, the e-bike cowboy here. And right now we are over, how do I switch? I don't know how to switch, here we go. Golden Day Casino. We are on our way to El Sequendo to pick up a new bike I had ordered. Is that right? That's right. Okay, so now we're heading to El Sequendo to Onyx Motorbikes to pick up one of their new Onyx CTY2s. Except for it's El Segundo. Whatever. It's the same thing. <laughs> anyway, so, on to El Sequendo. Now we go. The Hyatt, uh, the Hyatt Hotel in Los Angeles, LAX District, El Segundo. We're gonna be spending the night here, and tomorrow we're going to be heading to Onyx Motorbikes. Okay, talk to you then. Check out that view, everyone. We're at, I'm at the Hyatt Place Hotel, and wow, it's a lot of cars there, parked over there. So I thought I'd just do a little show you around the hotel. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, let's head to the lobby. Nice elevator. There's like lavender in here. On our way out. Okay, so what do we got? We've got an exit here, which is cool. Nice little lights. ATM, hand sanitizer. Don't forget to sanitize, it's very, very important. We've got some more rooms down there, it seems like. What's this? Let's see, let's see. Uh, a meeting room, we don't need that for today. A bathroom, nice speaker, water thing. Okay, very nice. Well, it seems like we've got some staff rooms in here. We have staff only. Staff only. An exit door. What's this we got here? We got a guest laundry over here. Another bathroom. We've got a fitness center, which is very nice. I think, oh, this leads to Um, it leads to a pool. I got a little weird in there. Okay, that's this side of the hotel. We've got some guest PCs right over here to do some quick internet surfing. Big TV right there. This is where you, the main lobby, nice couch, some tables. The placery. Ooh, look at that. Look at that stream. Oh, that's nice. That's really pretty. They got, oh look, they got a little electric car charger over there. Very nice. I believe we've got ourselves a little dining area here for like breakfast. There's some, uh, you can buy some alcohol and 
maybe some food. I don't quite know. There's some Gatorades and snacks over there. Drinks, pastries. Very nice. Okay, and here's uh, what the one of the rooms look like. It has a tap feature. And here's what the rooms look like. We've got a nice bathroom in here, very nice. Nice decor, high. High again. We've got a little little couch over here, beds here. There's a mix electric. Watching Pawn Stars like people like him do. And that's about it. Okay, so here we are. This is where you would get your breakfast. This is what I chose as for my breakfast. We've got here, we've got some eggs, got some sausage, and like these little potato wedges and a tortilla. It's like a breakfast burrito kind of thing going on. Yep. And that's my food, Annihilated. And right now we're gonna be heading to Onyx Motorbikes to check out, to have like a little tour of the place. Okay, let's go. Okay guys, here we are. We are at this white truck. This has been the trip all along, is to get to this truck. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, right here it is, the Onyx Motorbikes. Oh wow, look, oh wow. Oh wow, look at that, that green one. I know, they look cool. I don't see a ring. Ain't no ringer. <laughs> Said to come oh, in. Did they just say come in? Yeah. 241s. Um, this, this one kind of looks like one of the older prototypes. Wow, these look different in person. Good. Ah, uh, looking for Jeff. Hey, Jeff, it's Keith. Oh, hey, Keith, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's uh, Shane. Hello. Yep. What's going on, Shane? Good, thank Glad you. Glad to meet you as well. Glad you guys made the trip down and all. Oh, it yeah. was good. How was your weekend? It was awesome. I went down to San Diego, um, just did some exploring, and uh, did you ride? No. I don't even have my own bike yet. Oh, man. Man, that, that's kind of ir irony there. You work at a bike shop and you don't have a bike. It's, kind of, it's working. Inside that box is my, my frame and all that. I just I want to get it all powder coated and all that. Oh, okay. So it's processed. Uh, what color? Like a really bright green. Like, like Kawasaki green or something? Probably. Something very like forest and basically Hello. like... One that makes me very visible. Yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Very high visibility. So, yeah. Let me, uh, let me grab a few things really quickly, find your bag and all that. And, uh, I'll put it together. Okay, so. thanks, Jeff. Okay, so here are some of the employees. Looks like they're um, working on some of the bikes there, unwrapping them. These ones look pretty cool. There's some important stuff, huh? Yeah. Her father. Yes. Yeah, they look like they're shipping them, or getting ready to ship out. And these are all just like, uh, these are our test ride bikes on this side. So for this one, this is a custom. Uh, this is like the original, old school, uh, original RCR right here. This is the your first RCR model, or the first uh, the CTY? First, the first CTY model, yeah. It was like the original one. Uh, you know, that's kind of like the inspiration, kind of old school. Moped kind of look? Yeah, old vintage moped. Where yeah. The sound and off of that, so you can see they've kind of come a long ways, especially in the frame and construction, because if you compare that to the new, the new one down here, the one that we use for test drives and stuff. It's, uh, yeah, it's come, come yeah. a long ways. It looks uh, even more durable. Yes, much more durable, cleaner, just better. That looks nice. Um, yeah, come on down the rest of the operation. Oh, wait, hey, Jeff. Yeah. Everybody, this is Jeff. Oh, hey, what's up? And this is the guy you want to talk to. He, customer service is so good. He's treated us so nice. One of the reasons we bought the Onyx and, you know, 
call, get a hold of him. He'll take you, you know, good care of you. So thank you, Jeff. <laughs> You're making him blush. Yeah. Uh, this is where I spend all my time. This is all like customer service and marketing, R and D, and all the business sort of stuff. We like to be out on the floor with everything else. This is all about some shipping. So anybody that's not picking up their bikes, they get all all these bikes all get shipped out, which is geez, one, two, three, four. Five. Ten bikes are packing up right now, which is crazy. Dang. Uh, just more staging for bikes uh, over here. Those are like going like dealer order stuff. These are gonna get shipped out. Lots of parts over there. Uh-huh. Uh, parts and pieces, frames and whatnot. And then this is like, this is kind of the production line where it starts at that end and makes its way. So we'll just go in reverse. Okay. Uh, Alex here does all like the QC, so before everything gets packaged up or before you pick up a bike or anything, Alex has to come and ride it and make sure I'm that everything <laughs> he has to make sure everything's working perfectly and gets the final stamp of approval uh, over here. So uh, Hey the bikes are only as good as the test rider. That's right? just how it is. Yeah. He, he kinda <laughs> like I make it faster. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he kind of has the, the final say on make sure that they're ready to go. Uh, well, I love your front brakes. I mean, you have, I mean, that's some beef. That looks yeah. like something, you know, Bullon, off a motorcycle. And Yeah, Bolon uh, hydraulic bolts in the front. They don't need to be as heavy in the back. It just has the regen, which mm -hmm. is like a brake assist. So as soon as you clamp on that, it starts slowing the motor down. That's why it doesn't need to be as heavy in the back. Very it's fun, man. Mm -hmm. uh, the, and these are what a five thousand watt motor on the RCRs. Three, three thousand. Oh, and then that's fifteen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh. And then before you see, then this is like where they do kind of uh, all the electronics and fit and finish, all like the little stuff. And then you kind of just see the bike get like deconstructed as we go this way. There's a. CTY all taking part. I was getting all of its like wiring and stuff in it. Um, and then, yeah, before it gets any of the wiring. Hi. Good. How you doing, Jake. Keith? Jake. Jake. Hi. Hey. Jake's probably the one that more than likely built your guys' uh, bike. Oh, okay. Thank you. He's got master on the CTY. Well, my my first ever motorcycle was a step through Honda 90, like I got my dad got for my uncle. You know, it was like a late 60s, you know, and before I finally got a motocross bike that I could race. But yeah, that. So I like that whole step through because some of the bikes, even like our juice that we have, they're so tall, man. I we had to lower them because you stop, and if the ground's a little uneven. Man, there you lose your balance. Oh yeah. Last thing you want to do is eat crap right in front of everybody. <laughs> Where'd this guy learn to ride? <laughs> well, sure. Yeah, that's a neat bike. Oh. Yeah, from this seat, this is a solar bike, I call it. Uh huh. It's just a fucking parts. You get it and it leaves. It runs like a whole electric badass bike that it is. Man, I love this technology. Just runs good. I love the torque though, how yeah. the torque is instant, no shifting and it's so much simpler. Oh yeah. Uh, and then, yeah. Starting from the frame here they put on the wheels, but yeah, this is like there. Bare bones uh, RCR there. Uh, put the wheels and the tires together back there. And then, you know, Curtis here's like the, the service guy, he does tear apart these bikes and build all these bikes. So that's all the service and uh, all the R&D R &D stuff back there. And this guy's yours. Oh. Yay! Right here. Let me, I'll, I'll roll it up front there. Okay. Oh man, that's nice looking. Yeah. Look at it, Shane. You walked right by it. Right? <laughs> Pull it up out of the way. Guy and your controllers all 
protected. And yeah, that's nice. Yeah, and what's cool, even though it's like, you know, it's open there for airflow and everything, um, all the connections and stuff still have like ceiling mm -hmm. and stuff around the connections. So we get that question a lot of people like, oh, this looks like it's all open and there's electronics. Like, what happens if I ride it through the rain and stuff? It's like, no, they're all, they all have their own amount of like ceiling around the, the openings and connections. So you're good. You don't, you just don't want to like submerge it. Right. I'm sure if it's submerged, water will eventually find its way in. Yeah. But it can be sprayed with water and mud and you can hose it off and it'll be fine. Same thing with the rear hub motor. It's totally sealed. So you guys want to do the honors of turning on the sport mode? Go ahead, Shane. I'll hold it. power button and then this is just your drive mode here so right now it says we're in eco so eco mode's like slow cruise if you just want to do like the most chillest of slow cruises do eco mode because it only gets you up like 15 miles an hour real slow acceleration uh, and then you just toggle this over into normal mode and that's a little bit faster of a cruise but it's still meant for like bike lane type of traveling yeah so the, these first two are just like uh, and then one more gets you into the sport mode, which is basically just unlock it, oh. unlock all the power. Uh, all the power, that's what I use the most. That goes up to the full 45, 50, whatever you can get it up to. Uh, and then your brakes, they're actually on this side, if it's, it might be like your other e-bikes, rear brake is over here. And this, like Alex said, when you first start pulling this, it does trigger uh, regen electronic braking. Uh, so as soon as that goes, it flips a, a little switch. So when that switch is flipped and your brakes are going, that takes away your, uh, your throttle. So if you put this down, I have no throttle right now. Because if I take this off and move, it will lose actually a little throttle. So just keep that in mind. You either do brake or you throttle. Not both at the same time. Uh, and then your front brake, which we state is hydraulic brake, headlights, turn signals. If you're on the road, turn signals to handy. Uh, and then a loud horn. Plenty loud enough. Oh, and your USB port if you're like gonna mount your camera or something. Mm -hmm. Keep it charged in there. Um, that's really it. That's all there is to the controls. Yay! Yeah. You got it. Um, did you guys want to take it for a first little spin? Yeah. Yes, please. Uh, we'll just uh, we'll go grab our helmets. Okay. Yeah. We'll go uh, just uh, keep the keys. Can I ride one of your RCRs? Yeah. Yeah, here. Let me just grab uh, my little weaver thing. Oh, okay. All right, then you can take one of those things. Here's what the ride's going to look like. I'm going to have it as a part two video because this is already pretty long. So I hope you guys will have enough patience. If you guys been liking my content so far, please consider giving it a like and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you guys on the trail. Okay guys, I'll see you next time.